Hello, everyone. Welcome to my show. Autumn is here. I'm Francine Crawford, your host. I'm going to talk to you today about something that we don't talk about that often. I want to talk about elderly abuse. Elderly abuse is something that happens in, everywhere, no matter what neighborhood you're in, no matter um, where you're from. Elderly abuse happens. One out of every 60, one out, sorry, one out of every 10 Americans over the age of 60 has experienced some kind of elderly abuse. Now, elderly abuse is the intended action or inaction that jeopardizes the welfare of an elderly person. So it can be something that is actually being done physically or something that is in the form of neglect. There are different ways of abusing an elderly person. And sometimes we don't even think about it. You know, financial. Financial, of course, if somebody is trying to take their money, is signing off checks, doing things that are um, financial that they don't have authority to do, trying to take their land, um, misuse of their credit cards, things like that, um, even being pointed of power of attorney, but misusing their power, okay, in a financial manner. And they don't have authority for that. That's financial. Um, physical abuse, of course, we all know could be somebody hitting or hurting or harming someone, um, uh, make, taking away their uh, ability to communicate with people, breaking their phones and things like that so they can't communicate with people, breaking their eyeglasses so they can't see, things like that. That's physical abuse. There is emotional abuse, emotional and psychological abuse. Emotional and psychological abuse is when people um, frighten elderly people. And I, I think that sometimes you you may not even think about it, but if you look around people, sometimes they're, they're frightened or they're shamed or they're confused and in, in a, um, a way to be able to control them and make them feel like um, they're, they're crazy. So people do that, they they can emotionally abuse people and, and elderly people. Also sexually, sexual abuse, yes, that happens to elderly people. It's when non-consent sexual activity and they can, or sexual uh, assault. So these things also happen and it could be, anybody it could be somebody you know and somebody you don't know. It could even be a partner, it could be your spouse. Um, active neglect or, um, unintentional neglect. So sometimes people actively do things, and I know it doesn't sound good, but they, they do things that will harm an elderly person, like get mad and don't feed them, lock them in the house, um, don't bathe them, don't take them to the doctor appointment, don't give them the medic medication. Things like that are um, active neglect. There are some intentional things that people do, which is uh, important to think about. Um, Sometimes you can neglect somebody by doing something, uh, well, by not doing something. So if you're caring for somebody and all week and you leave them by themselves on the weekend and they really can't take care of themselves, uh, maybe you had something to do, maybe you had to work or whatever, and you didn't have anybody to take care of them, that's unintentional. But you have to know that that is a way, a form of abuse, a form of neglecting them. So please keep that in mind. If you are a caregiver and you're caring for someone, make sure you have some kind of backup plan. Make sure that they're safe. Make sure that they have somebody with them. Um, abandonment. People abandon the elderly um, many times. Uh, they don't have the patience for them. They are not equipped to care for them like they need to be cared for. Um, they're tired. Sometimes people start out caring for people and it gets too much or they, the elderly person needs more. They get sick and they need more attention and it just gets too much. And sometimes we shut down and we abandon them. And that's something that, you know, we want people to be aware of because we want to make sure that you don't put yourself in that position to get so overwhelmed that you walk away from the caring of this elderly person. So we just wanted to make sure that you knew just certain things to, to watch out for. Um, psychologically, 63% of abuse is psychological with elderly, elderly people. Also, um, just, 60% of abuse comes from people that they know. 
comes from children, grandchildren, um, spouses, partners, 60%. Um, for whatever reason, that's something that is um, prominent. And it's also something that sometimes it's just not re reported. So, you know, what we want you to do is just keep this in mind because a lot of times we'll walk past someone elderly, we have elderly people in our family and we don't even observe how they look. We don't even observe anything. We just, you know, greet them, spend some time with them and keep it moving. But if this is happening in this ratio, then we it's our responsibility to try to just look around, look at for look for some signs, um, make sure that everything is okay. You know, um, there's no guarantee of who's going to take care of you when you get older. There's no guarantee of who's going to even be around. But we can start planning to look at the options that we may have. You know, sometimes we'll go, oh, okay, well, you know. Uncle Joe needs a place to live and grandma has three bedrooms so he can take care of her. Well, maybe Uncle Joe is not the person that should take care of grandma. You Sometimes we know our family's history and they're not the right person to take care of anybody, but because they're available, we allow them to. There's some people in our family that may not be stable, may not be stable mentally. They may um, be abusive and drugs and things like that. You don't want them around the elderly or somebody who can't take care of themselves. And I know that may not sound nice, but we know, you know, you know, some people in your family or, or friends or people that they may be um, available, but they may not be the right person for this task. Um, please keep that in mind. I understand that it's a big thing if you are the person that has to care for somebody, but um, try to plan ahead of time if who or how this person can be taken care of if they get old and they are not able to take care of themselves. Um, that's what this is about, really recognizing things, different things that um, can happen and may happen and putting a plan in place before it happens. I want you to recognize some of the signs. If you see elderly people and you see certain things, um, their appearance, if they're dirty, if they're disheveled, if they're withdrawn, or if they're dehydrated, um, if, if they're under or over medicated, you know, if you notice signs like that, um, if they isolate themselves from their friends and their family, that's also a sign. If they have like, unexplained bruises, scars, um, burns, um, things like that, you know, please notice that. Take take note of these things. Um, take note of the first time you saw it. Write it down the first time you saw it. Take note if you see, you know, they're acting different, you know, and it's frequent. Take note of that. Um, also, if they just recently changed bank accounts and things like that, just be aware of that. Be aware of that. And just to make sure that everything is, is still in order. Um, if they have bed sores on them or any other preventable thing, um, sores and things like that that come on them. Please just look look about, look about, around them, look at them, talk to them, make sure they're not acting different. If they're afraid to talk to you, if they were an outgoing person and they're not, if they, um, were sweet and nice and they're mean and grumpy and they, they, or they're scared. Um, please take note of these things. Um, there are agencies that you can report these to. There are agencies that you can just ask questions for support. What should you do? Um, you can go to the adult services agency, which is also not only just for people 60 and above, but about other adults that may need some help and want to find out like, is this um, abuse or what could I do? Um, there are agencies that will um, help you for elderly agencies, change locks in your house, things like that. Um, get you uh, on a program that will help you to get food or things like that. So please know that you can easily go to Google, Google elderly abuse, go to these agencies, um, Department of Aging, they they have a wealth of information for you. Um, and if you just notice this, please just really um, report it or if you can help out help out if you can be that support if you can let the you know 
the person know that you're going to be there just to, just to look out for them you know or if you see that they're not there sometimes it's also uh, an abuse of where self abuse where you know they're not eating they're not taking care of themselves they're um depressed if you notice that if you're live in a building and someone is like that um reach out to them see where you can get support from them call the agency or something and have them get support maybe they don't know how to get help for themselves so that's something that you know i just want to bring to everybody's attention because um we don't talk about it we kind of ignore it until it's too late and you know we should try to treat our elderly with more dignity dignity and respect um sometimes we act like they are it's it's they're not here they're not important they're not worthy but they are they already put in their time you know so we should then they still have a lot to offer they have a lot to offer so please let's try to keep our elderly safe um if you have any information or anything that you might want to um uh report or ask questions about if you have questions i'm going to put something up on at the end for people to possibly some agencies that you can call and um just get in touch with them so let's let's be uh proactive in this and if you are elderly and you, these things are happening to you please don't be afraid to ask a neighbor to call one of these agencies and get the help that you need Okay, thank you for tuning in to Autumn is here. My name is Francine Crawford and um I just hope that we are more equipped with helping our seniors. Thank you. Good night.